Now, tell me in your own words why exactly you think you are here. This is an interview with, state your name please. Oscar James Miller. And state your date of birth please. The 26th of August 1999. And can you state your address please? 3 Viewmont Avenue, 12 DP 5 NB. My name is Detective Chief Inspector Lars Thompson. No one else is currently present in the room. It's currently 9.32 on the 4th of April 2021. And we are currently in interview room two at Silverside Police Station. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. Do I make myself clear? Yes, officer. We've chosen to give you a second chance, Mr Miller. But the thing is, things aren't looking good for you right now. The evidence is piling up against you and you have decided not to talk. I'll give you a summary of what we do know. Police were called to the scene of a crime at 12.32 on the 20th of February uh, with a report of suspected murder. When the police arrived, they found the body of Miss Florence Scott drowned in a pool of blood with her window open. And the autopsy shows us that she was beaten and stabbed 22 times with a four inch spear point blade and the police do believe that this is in fact a crime of passion. Therefore, we can infer the killer was someone that she knew. We produced several suspects after talking with family and friends and neighbours. One of those suspects being you. We invited you in for questioning, however you chose to run. Are you willing to talk today, Mr Miller? Then let's start at the beginning. Would you like to explain how you knew Miss Scott? She's my girlfriend of three years. She brought it all down the drain. She was amazing. I couldn't have asked for more. But she chose to ruin our relationship. She chose to cheat on me. Pretend I didn't exist, like I wasn't her boyfriend. I became nothing to her. And how did it end? I came home one day, I found, found her, another guy. We argued and argued. In the end, she just told me to leave. And I did. An eyewitness has described your breakup as quite aggressive, almost a cause of concern. I, I didn't hurt her, if, if that's what you're asking. But God, I was mad. I didn't hurt her. I wouldn't hurt her. Not Flo, no. Are oh, you sad? Sad that she's not here. I mean, it, it was a shock, I mean, before her death. I was angry. I wanted hell on earth for her. But I didn't want her dead. But now, if, if I could have her back, then I would do anything. So on the night in question, Mr Miller, what were you doing? I was just at home, watching TV and just generic stuff. Anyone able to account for that? We saw CCTV that you had left your apartment that evening. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. I went out to grab some milk because I'd run out. But you didn't return until over an hour later. Well, that's a long trip for some milk. What do you want me to say? Did you happen to go near Miss Scott's apartment that night? No, I was nowhere near it. So you have no solid alibi and no proof of where you were during the time of 10.39 and 11.47? I guess. Oscar, you're not, not making me want to believe you here. Well, what do you want me to tell you? The truth. Simple as that. I did, and you're not listening. 
Oh, when I think cool Russian Oscar, it could be theorised that you, angry at Miss Scott, went out looking for revenge from our timeline of events. We placed you in your apartment until you left at 10.39 to go and get milk. The time this took gave you enough time to go into Miss Scott's apartment, break in, commit the murder, and get back before you were seen on CCTV at 11.47pm that night. I didn't kill her. I don't know who you think you are or what kind of game you think you're playing, but this was not me. Oscar. You and Miss Scott split after what witnesses are describing as a violent row. No, that, that's not what happened. And in your previous interview, although you didn't say much, the small amount you did say alluded to you possessing a knife that matched the exact same description as a murder weapon. However, you could not present this. I told you last time it went missing. You stated that you deserved to be murdered and you were very clearly angry. That's not what I meant. Now we have a murder case on our hands and all fingers are pointing to you, Oscar. I'm telling you, I had nothing to do with her death. To make matters worse, Mr. Miller, upon hearing of the warrant for your arrest, you decided that instead of coming in and completing your cool version in, you would go on the one. Could have been a perfect plan, but it was not well executed. It doesn't matter how many times you say you're innocent, you cannot deny- Did You just fucking listen to me! I had nothing to do with her death. By your behaviour, your alibi, or lack thereof, and your criminal history all provide us with a good sense of who killed Listen which. to me! I didn't kill her. I loved her. I would never hurt her. And you've got no proof that I did kill her. We found a murder weapon, Oscar, with your fingerprints on it and Florence's DNA. We searched your apartment and we found the stolen items at the scene of the crime. We found hair matching yours. I don't understand. Oscar, we know you did it. I don't understand. I, I couldn't have been me. How could I have done it? I think this concludes our interview for today. I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Florence Scott. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be given in evidence. Anything to say? No? No, I then. Next time, I would suggest maybe covering your tracks or planting the evidence on someone else. What? What do you mean? Stand up. Come on. Officer Walker. No, what, what do you mean? Take no, I didn't kill her. No, what, what do you mean? No, I didn't do it. Get off me. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. You made that way too easy. And to think you really thought you had a chance of proving your innocence. <laughs> oh, I'm an expert. I've been doing this far too long to make mistakes. Yeah, I killed her. But you incriminated yourself with all this aggression and evidence. You genuinely had me convinced for a second that it was you when I told you that the knife had been found with your fingerprints on it. Oh, your reaction was priceless. But you were the prime suspect, therefore, the primary prey. No one would suspect me of doing such a thing. No one at all. So, I had to plant the evidence on someone they would, like I say, maybe one day you'll learn to cover your tracks. Maybe plant the evidence on someone else. <laughs>